Hello everyone and welcome to Aquaplace Pixelmon Part 2. In the last episode, I had to cut my session short <laughs> because I was dying of starvation. And, uh, so in between episodes, I'll just explain really quick what I've done. Uh, as you can see, there's a little wheat farm here and I have eight loaves of bread. Ooh. Alright, um, I've basically just been farming this non-stop for a couple hours. I've just been on the internet in other tabs doing stuff while simultaneously checking back on this about every half hour. So, yeah, not too interesting. But this is uh, basically the area that I was in before. I think I might be in a slightly different section. I've gathered up some wood and just made some basic tools. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I didn't want to record too much without you guys. I've... Whoa. How did an electrode get up there? <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Uh, there's a level 40 Machoke just hanging out at our house. Terrific. Um, but yeah. Um, that tree is huge, also. I've planted a few trees around here, just from saplings that I've replanted from one small tree that I originally punched down, <laughs> and they've made some ridiculously big trees over here. But that's cool, so I've got an infinite wood source. Also, directly in front of me is an infinite wood source, called a jungle. Don't think I could ever mine all of that out. But uh, yeah, I've got a chest here, and just a little hole in the wall <laughs> that I've been using to just mess with my resources. I found one block of iron above the ground over by this little pool of lava, and then I've made some charcoal out of pieces of wood. So yeah. Um, I realized that half the fun of watching some Let's Plays is that the person playing them doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> I didn't want that to disappear. Ooh, listen to that bubbling sound. That's nice. Love the old lava. I know I mention that all the time. <laughs> looks so good, though. Um, I genuinely do think this lava looks better than the new lava. It is more pixelated, and it doesn't look as much like lava, but from a distance, I think that genuinely does look pretty cool. <laughs> I might be alone in that, but... Eh, whatever. It's all about personal tastes. That's what's awesome about Minecraft. Through mods and texture packs and just the vanilla game, just the way you play it, everything is personalized to you. I think that's one of the main reasons Minecraft is so successful. You can genuinely make this world anything that you want it to be, and that is very awesome. What is this? Numal. <laughs> Um, okay. Again, like I mentioned last time, I really only know the first two generations of Pokemon. After that, I just kind of grew out of it and got into other stuff. But, no seeds, really. Alright. But, uh, yeah, I got out of Pokemon basically after Generation 2. What just happened to you? Did you fall off that? <laughs> wow. I'm surprised you're still alive. That's a long fall. But, uh, I need to start getting stuff accomplished. Um, so basically, um, in an effort to not make this Let's Play so awful, uh, I did look up the basic, what am I trying to say, the crafting recipes for all of the items in Pixelmon. So, I mean, I don't know how I was supposed to know that without looking that up, so it's kind of necessary to look those up. Besides that, I am playing this completely blind. I don't really know... Oh, I'll just leave that out until it breaks. Um, I don't really know anything about this mod besides what I've shown you in here. <laughs> um, I think there are over 170 Pokemon, or around 170, so that's pretty awesome. And from what I've seen, everything looks pretty good. I don't really know how to fight the trainers yet. I assume you just throw a Pokeball at them and fight starts just like it does with the regular Pokemon. Um, one thing that is going to be unfortunate about the start of this series is um, you can't really make Pokeballs or...
make a healing machine without having several pretty difficult to get items. I'm going to need diamonds and a lot of iron. So, yeah, I'm going to start mining immediately. And I'm just going to go hardcore. I'm just going to go try to get the rarest items right from the start. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm just going to do it this way. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go all out, try to mine as much valuable stuff as I can right from the start. And hopefully we can get into the actual Pokemon part of this game pretty quick. See, there's some iron already. Oh, that's not iron, is it? That's a... Uh, uh, new stuff that is... Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there for now. I think that makes aluminum or something, and that's how you make Pokeballs. Or it's used in the healing machine construction. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong. But uh, I'll come back and get that later. I assume you need an iron pick to get that. Ooh, there's more. Nice. I think you need four pieces of that. Actually, I'm sure. You need four pieces of that to make a healing machine. <laughs> Sometimes I just say, I think, or stuff like that, even though I'm completely sure about it. I don't know why I do that. But yeah, that takes four to make a healing machine. Plus, you need four iron ingots and a diamond. So, yeah. Oh, I hear water. There's probably a cave some nearby. I would imagine. Um... So, yeah, coal is always good. Hopefully by about part 3 or 4, I'll be able to go up to the surface and start catching Pokemon. It shouldn't be too hard. All I really need is iron and a diamond. And the PC... I don't know how I'm going to get that. The way you make that is requires some incredibly hard to get stuff. But... It's all just part of the fun. I do like that you have to still play Minecraft while you're playing this mod. It's not just Pokemon are all over the place. You go to the Mart to get Pokeballs and stuff. Like, it's not trying to be a Pokemon game solely. It's half Minecraft, half Pokemon. So, doing Minecraft right now, and we can get to the Pokemon in just a little while. And I'm looking forward to that. Because I haven't really gotten to do a battle yet. <laughs> I tried to run away from that Machoke in the last episode. Oh, I forgot I only brought two stone pickaxes down here. Hopefully that'll be enough. It sounds like we... Oh, bedrock, really. Hm. Okay, I'm going to... Go up just a bit. That cave still sounds like it's right by me. But, yeah, uh, I'm glad that I have a way to get food now, so <laughs> we don't have to die. And that's really close. You hear that? Need an iron pick for that. That's gotta be above me, right? There it is. Alright, let's head on up. Cave systems are the easiest way to find resources. And actually, without the hostile mobs on, this might be quite easy. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Ow. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> There's a block directly above my head, so I can't move out all the way. Break it. There we go. Oh, I can't see. What is happening? Ow! Don't die here. I don't have a bed. The beds are also quite hard to get on this mod. I believe you have to defeat, like, three Mareep in battle to get them. Here we go. This is the way I need to go. Ooh, a ravine. Alright. This is just what I needed. Um, one thing I was thinking about also is, I'm not sure... What is that? Oh. Uh. So, are those from zombies, or did those Golbats kill a Pokemon that drops those? Huh. Strange. Alright, but here's iron, yes. And more. Oh, that's gold. 
I don't know if gold is required for any of the important items in the game, but I'll be sure to pick it up. Let's just check around here to see if there's any diamonds. I'm not seeing any. Alright, so let's just grab this iron really quick. You need four pieces to create a healing table thing. I don't know what those are called. <laughs> Only one piece there. Here's a couple more. It's always good to just dig around a couple blocks when there's only a couple on the surface. Oh, there's some. Cool. And that other weird mineral that I was trying to mine on the way down. Hopefully I can mine that up with iron. But it could be diamond, so we'll see. Hopefully it's not diamond, that would be pretty difficult. I wonder what drops that uh, rotten flesh. Oh, I need to make sure I don't lose the spot that I came out. I believe it was right here. But yeah, if I get lost, that would be catastrophic. There it is. Cool. There's a torch right by it for easy access. All of the Pokemon seem to be very high level. Ooh, abandoned mine shaft. That could be good. If I find 12 pieces of string, I can make three blocks of wool and construct a bed. That would make this whole process a lot easier. I wonder... Yeah, string should still spawn in there, the cobwebs, even though there won't be any spiders. I'm curious to see if the spawner blocks will still be there. I'm pretty sure they won't spawn anything because of the mod, but just curious hmm. I saw a I don't remember what Pokemon it was oh I think it was a Marowak I saw one jump into this lava pool that's by my shelter <laughs> that was pretty funny then I tried to chase him down and he just sprinted off into the distance I have no idea where he went also this uh, starting area that I'm in right now this is really just a place where I'm trying to gather up resources and get my bearings so that I can start catching Pokemon and start battling. After I get all of the... What is happening to you? <laughs> uh, after I get all of the required materials, I'm going to be moving on to a new area. This is just a spot that I'm hanging out for the time being. But, yeah. Let's see. I don't really... Oh, there's more iron. That's always good. And more coal. That's also always good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my pick. I don't... Do I have any wood? No. So, yeah, I forgot to conserve this. Let's just build up here really quick. I want to get that iron before I leave, and then I can go make some iron picks and come back down here later. I can't decide if I want to branch mine to find the diamonds, or if I want to keep searching this ravine. I'm not seeing much in here. Oh, there's also this. I also only have two torches left. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to head back up really soon. But these usually are very good places to find diamonds when you're this low down in the world. Um Ooh, what is that? Um I genuinely don't have a clue what that is. I can I dig over here? I might just have to come back. There's gold. I think that also requires an iron pick. Yeah. This probably does too. Oh. No, what is that? I'm just going to break one and see what it looks like. Hm. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, this mod is full of mysteries, and I'm going to slowly uncover all of them, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to come back to this mine shaft. This looks promising. Hopefully I can find my way out. I only placed, like, one torch, so... Oh, that Zubat freaked me out. <laughs> all right. Uh.
I'm going to heal up really quick. And I'm going to head back up to the surface. But, wow, Zubat's everywhere. Um, that's going to be it for episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. And next time, I'm going to be constructing iron picks, constructing all the necessary minerals. We actually got a lot accompli accomplished. <laughs> Not a word. We got a lot accomplished in this episode. So, hopefully in the next couple episodes, I will have everything I need and we can start catching Pokemon. And if I don't have all the stuff, I'll just finish up getting the required materials off screen and... Yeah, then we'll be ready anyway, so... Sometime in the next couple episodes, we'll get everything caught up, and we'll start really getting into the heart of this mod. So, alright, I'm gonna head back up, and the next episode will start up at the surface. So, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed.